Is it toast? No, we need to charge it. Wow. What do you think? Good. Yeah? Does it look like it would be fun to fly? Yeah. All right. Should we open it? Yeah. All right. How do the controls feel? Good. They feel good? Nice and smooth? How is it for your hands? Nice size? Yeah. All right, this is our first flight. Down, down, down. Oh, ah! Now, now you will watch. <laughs> now you can watch? Yeah. All right. Try, watch. try again. Try. A little bit more. Yep, not now a little bit. That. No. Okay. Good. All right. This is the Esheen E011 brushed microcopter. Let's open the box up and take a look at what we got. Inside we have, you know, the standard uh, Yixin microcontroller. It uh, fits pretty good in the hand. There's one downside to this that I'll get to in just a moment. Uh, aside from that, we have one extra set of props and a handy little screwdriver, which is good for opening the back of the controller. The quadcopter itself. Beautiful tiny whoop stop. Battery fits in nice. Uh, it's a 3.7 volt, 260 milliamp, 30 C battery, uh, which goes in. And there's another issue with that as well. I'll get to that. Uh, and this little guy, he's uh, he's ready to go. Batteries, brush motors, nice flexible frame, durable. Yeah, if we look at the box here, <laughs> they, they expect you to have some sort of battles with these things and uh, yeah you could it would be fun it would be a blast actually to just smash into each other uh, which my son and I have done all right let's talk about what I like about it and what I don't like about it uh, the quad is itself is amazing flies really nicely uh, it's durable it, uh, it it's got a lot of punch for a little guy I mean it's an excellent platform for uh, uh, basing a tiny whoop off of uh, put a little camera on and it's a blast uh, it flies pretty good, even with the weight of your little uh, block man. I guess you can't call it Lego. Uh, you put it there, and uh, yeah, I mean, f flies around. It's a hoop. My son loves it. Great for kids. It's just, it's just an overall very well engineered. Flies well. I have one issue with it. If we can zoom in here, the battery blocks a little portion of the plug and so getting the plug in can be kind of difficult it's kind of annoying but it's not the end of the world it's not like it doesn't fit it fits on top of that i don't know is there any place in the world that doesn't have red brake lights on the back of their car so why is red in the front and blue in the back uh, so my orientation for line of sight was constantly confusing me. I'd see the red light, I'd think, oh, I'm facing away from me, and then uh, boom, no, I'm coming towards me. Uh, that was pretty annoying. But otherwise, quad itself, great, really enjoyed it, a lot of fun. My issue with the handheld remote control here, the resolution is terrible. Um, trying to get it into a hover is annoying, to say the least. It's, it's a constant correction until you finally get it, and then the slightest any change in breathing will affect it and you're up uh, you know an extra couple feet or something like that so pretty annoying now i understand that uh, it works with uh, the devo remote controls natively so if you have like a devo 6 7 whatever um, that would be so much better to fly these things so like i say take this put a bat put a, a all-in-one camera on it uh, get yourself a proper remote control and you have a very economical uh, and fun little tiny whoop that you can fly around in and then one last thing, only because I, w I looked on the internet and I couldn't find it, and so I'll put a little notes in the video description so hopefully other people can find it as well. 
this was beeping, this remote control, when I first plugged it in. Both of them, actually. I had two of them. Uh, I put the batteries in and I continually tried to bind it. Power the quad on, wait for the lights to flash. Power this on, throttle up, throttle down, binds. I couldn't get to bind. It was driving me insane. Why is this thing beeping? I didn't realize that the beeping was because my batteries were low. Uh, I put in another set of brand new batteries and no beeping bound instantly. Uh, but it took me a long time and a lot of research to figure out that the the warning was uh, a low battery. It wasn't that it wasn't bound. So I didn't know that and it was annoying. So uh, hopefully that'll help you. Uh, anyways, great overall product. I want to thank Banggood for sending it to me uh, to review. I'm not really uh, much of a reviewer, but uh, I fly a lot of quads, uh, do a lot of racing, do a lot of... Uh, freestyle and uh, no, I was just curious uh, a lot of good talk about so uh, there you go highly recommend it uh, especially for the money you can't go wrong you have a lot of fun with it thanks